this is B more heavy sack. So just wanted to go over this uh, video. This is the ELM327. This is the USB version of the ODB2 reader. Uh, pretty much you take this device here. You connect it to your computer's uh, output, the ODB2. And then you connect this in to your laptop. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is install the scan tool. Let's go back. I do apologize, my screen is a bit brighter. Alright, so we're going to click next. So this is the agreement. We're going to select agree. Alright, from here we're going to select the components we want to install. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and... If I don't... Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and select source code. Select next. This is the partition that we're going to install. The software requires 1.1 1 .1 megabyte. And this is the start menu path. Alright, so now we got the software here installed. So, looks like thus far the software is Windows 10 compatible. We're going to physically, I'm going to connect the ELM. 327 to my laptop. We're going to install the USB driver. So we're going to go to USB driver and PL2303 Windows 10. We're going to select uh, Windows 7. There it goes. Alright. So we can click next. So it says the installation is complete. We're going to select finish. Now from here we're going to go back to the device viewer. On here is the ports. Uh, give me a... It might be one of these. Alright, so I'm going to disconnect the cable. The USB cable. Cable's been disconnected. Yep, I was right. It was one of the ports. Alright, so that's ECP for the printer. So now I'm kind of reconnecting the ELM. So the ELM populates as a uh, uh, USB 2 serial COM port, which is COM port 4. Excellent. So now, we're going to launch the scan tool. Now keep in mind that right now, uh, I have... Let me uh, close this. So let's keep in mind that right now, I have my uh, scan tool connected to my computer. The scan tool is not connected to my car, so we're not going to get any uh, readings here. I'm just trying to confirm that my scan tool is communicating to my laptop. So the first setting that you need to uh, configure when you launch the scan tool is to configure the port. Now the port they're referring to is the ELM327, the USB. So like I said, when you connect the ELM to your laptop, it will display under ports. To show you again how to get to Device Manager on Windows 10, you right click on the Windows 10 icon, you select Device Manager, and from here, you go down to ports click the arrow and then you should see which com port you are on you can also double click and these are the com port settings but we're not going to get into that right now so pretty much we are receiving uh, com, com port 4 so I'm gonna my apology I'm going to select com port as you can see here now this is the ball rate so like I said 9600 is the uh, standard right click select properties just to confirm 9600 alright display mode window I'm gonna keep it at window alright and that's it so now we're gonna click save now it says re retesting interface was not found now my uh, assumption is that the reason why it's saying interface was not found is because uh, my computer is not connected to the car so I'm going to connect this to my vehicle and record with a different uh, 
recorder, such as my uh, iPhone.